Hello and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. It is Wednesday, December 6th for me. It's my niece Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. And I don't know if she's 40 or 41. She was born when I was nine. And I was nine. Yeah, I would have been nine. So she must be 40, 40. Isn't that terrible? You don't even know. You lose track. <laughs> But um, I'm going to be going out here in a couple hours to go pick up some local auction winnings for stuff to sell on eBay. Because that's kind of my main sourcing at this point, if I can get any inventory, is uh, local online auctions. Um, of course, there are estate sales. There's one estate sale. They have a sale every month. Um, but the others, there just really haven't been that many. And now that we're in the holidays and then the winter, they usually slow way down anyway because it's cold and snowy and people aren't moving and they you know winter they winter and down south so i'm gonna go be doing that i have a couple ebay orders to do right now though so i'll pull those and i think i still have i don't think the mail carriers come yet so i can put them out and have them take them and today. then there's teddy he says hi guys look at my eyeball it is all better teddy teddy huh oh he's like what what, what are you what are you talking to mom Teddy, are you so cute? Teddy, are you wagging your tail? Are you being shy? Are you shy? Teddy, look at the camera. <laughs> so cute. Teddy, there you are. What's wrong? Where'd Charlie go? I think he's in the living room. You could go play toys. He says, no, I want you to sit down so I can sit on your lap. But I have orders to do. No, sit down. I got to go do some orders and then we'll sit down. Okay, good boy. Before I pull the orders, here's everything I've gotten listed in the last couple of days. The dollhouse furniture, cute little ornaments, more dollhouse furniture, just everything that is random. I'm selling this as a lot for parts because the buckle component is missing. So maybe somebody that does John Deere will snatch that up. I'm so tempted to keep this piece of dollhouse furniture, but we need the money. And an ornament, another dollhouse piece, another dollhouse piece, Fontanini, Fenton Bear, John Deere belt buckles, these power adapters, another one of these. I had two where the design was the same. This one um, has a little bit more of the scuffing and stuff. So, and then this cute vintage plastic piggy bank. Oh, and stickers. So I got to put all this away and then pull what's sold. All right, so here's what's sold. We've got... Oh, Baby Jesus, you upside down. We have Fontanini Baby Jesus from 1992 collection, the five inch scale collection. Uh, he sold for $25.49. And then this little set of um, the cow salt and pepper shakers. Pretty sure these were made in Japan. Um, had these for a while. They finally sold for $16.99. Of course, everything has quote unquote free shipping, but both of these are very lightweight and they will ship um, via round um well under oh my gosh i caught the um soft softener salt delivery guy he called yesterday knew he was coming i totally forgot if i don't see him coming and open the door they'll leave it outside and then i gotta drag the 50 pound bags out. so thank goodness first world problems i know <laughs> but we like soft water in this house okay that's how I was, that's, we were raised on soft water um i still have some time before i leave to go pick up my auction win so i'm gonna open the advent calendars and then I'm gonna have to make room on a table to bring all that stuff in. <laughs> Hope I was focusing on smalls, but I didn't do a preview. So, you know, you don't really know how small everything is until you get there. So I'm hoping it's small, so we'll see. But to the advent calendar. Let's start today with the big one, the body shop. Hi, Teddy. Teddy's like, where's mine, mom? Where's mine? Where's mine? It's coming, buddy. Okay, so today is the sixth. Oh, I can't do this one handed. Six was in the bottom drawer and it talks about their body yogurt. So I'm assuming this is a body yogurt. Well, that kind of takes the fun out when you put on the can or on the box what it is. Oh, why can I not get anything out? Oh my gosh. Moninga, Moninga, Morninga, good grief. I don't know if that's a fruity or a flowery scent. That might be floral. I need to look before I open it because if it's floral, I can't use it. I get a headache, but this would be something I could take to the consignment store and 
make some money off of. So it kind of, you know, that's how you can kind of pay for this stuff is the stuff you don't use, you take in and consign it. The Lind Teddy Bear, here is number six. Oh, and it's Santa. You'd think it was the teddy bear calendar, everything would be a teddy bear, but that's okay. It's Santa. Next is the Walker shortbread. Now we messed up, I messed up the other day. I had opened the wrong door. So I think we're caught up now though. I did, I know baby, one, two, three, four, here's six. I did five. So or was it the Godiva one I messed up? It was just a piece of shortbread. Funny that in the Walker shortbread calendar, you get shortbread. Maybe it was the Lind one I messed up the other day. Wrong door. Um, let's make sure we're right here. One, did one. We've done three, four, five. Where was two? I, oh my gosh, there. Did I do two? Yeah, I did two. So I think we're on the right track again. Number six. And it is one of these. Uh, hmm, the Milk Chocolate Lion of Belgium. That's the second one we've gotten, but that's okay because he's quite tasty. Next, the Burt's Bees. Again, this came from Sam's Club. And, oh, this is the one I messed up, right? Yeah, so I've done, yeah, that's because five and one were kind of stuck together. So this is Sure Beats Fruitcake. Shortbread cookie. Well, that sounds quite delicious. Okay, so, okay, that was the one I messed up. Now we're back on the right. And then the Aldi doggy tree calendar. So here's Teddy's. Oh, <laughs> I already opened them, obviously, and cut into them. The Aldi ones, they are, like, it's a lot to get them out. And these are just described as biscuits. So we'll go give Charlie his. I think he went back to the couch. Oh, wait, Charlie, you're literally behind me, buddy. There you go. I didn't even see him. He's so quiet. Good boys. Teddy, honey, let him have that. You had yours. You just want them all, don't you, Teddy? Teddy, Teddy, honey, leave him be. Good boy. So I just got a bunch of packages, including one from Sam's Club. I was expecting more arthritis cream, and instead I got a bag of bacon. <laughs> so I went on. I'm like, oh, I need to send this back. This is wrong. And then I went through the thing, and they're like, no need to send it back, we'll just send you a new one. So I guess I now have this 20 ounces of real crumbled bacon, which I guess is already cooked. I don't know. I don't know if my brother would take it. Anyway, let's see what else came. Okay, I ordered a bunch of stuff from the Disney store for my um, great niece and great nephew, Sophie, and then for Owen. And we have the first box to show up, and it has one thing in it. <laughs> okay, so it is this ornament. It does play music. So I got this for Sophie. So I'm going to take it out of that, and I'll wrap it up in that box, but have the batteries in it ready to go. She lights all the ornaments that I have and the ones that play the music, and she loves Frozen. So this plays, what do you play? I sing. Well, what do you sing? Can I test you? Will you sing? I don't know. Where's the freaking button? These dang things, they're so complicated. Where's the button? Do I press something? Press the button? I don't know. Anyway, there's that. <laughs> More of the puppy's favorite treats. They're getting the best deal on these. It's, um, on Amazon. Normally, I would get them at Target, but Amazon's had the better deal, and they go through these. They love these, so... Look what you got, your favorites. Yeah, your bits. All right, another package from Amazon. This, actually, this, these packages have been, I don't know, they come, I put them in a pile, and then I just open them all. Um, I got a two pack of the um, dark light flashlights so you can see if things are glowing. I'm gonna give one to my brother and I needed one. A couple rulers, I needed smaller rulers for my photo um, backdrops, so business. And then I got my brother a digital scale for Christmas for his eBay business. And I also got him a photo box. This is the same one I have. Actually, this one and that digital scale are the same that I use. So I got him those for Christmas for his eBay business. I am home from picking up my auction wins. It was a little chaotic there. You're supposed to tell them what time you're coming and they have slots. I feel like everybody was there at once. 
And the way they do it is the number, the lots are numbered, right? So they all have a corresponding number that corresponds in when you're bidding and then to the item in the box or whatever it's in. Some of the numbers got messed up. And so they were like in a total panic. Some guy won a bunch of watches. They weren't there. They were given to somebody else. I felt really bad for him. Oh my gosh. So I got my stuff and got out fairly easily. Um, and then I stopped at, I was going to say Burger King, Dairy Queen. I guess I went queen and king. Anyway, oh, that's cold. Um, Because, I don't know. I've gotten the Chick-fil-A mint shake, and it was okay. I got the Freddy's one. That was really good. Then I went to Bur Burger King, Dairy Queen, and this is their peppermint, peppermint something. The weird thing is that the Dairy Queens, they call their blizzards chills. Like the sign says blizzards and you order blizzards. like, so you want the peppermint chill? I'm like, the, the blizzard? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. This is delicious. It's peppermint candy and chocolate with the Dairy Queen. This one's my favorite so far, although now I can't feel my hand. So I had a little bit of that on the way home and I'll put it in the freezer. Uh, or actually, it probably might keep in the fridge. Nah, freezer. But when I'm going places, I almost will always, gosh, that's cold. Um get the large because it's a better value and you can divide it up, like eat it in two days in a row because it's only usually like change or a dollar more than the tiny one. That's my budget saving tip for the day. Get the big blizzard and then divvy it up over a couple meals or a couple days or share it. Money saving tip, or just don't go to Dairy Queen. There's another money saving tip, but anyway, I gotta go unload my car. Okay, here is my trunk. Um, they were bringing out the like the flats and I just started dumping them into the into my bags just because it's easier um so a lot of this is like little smalls jewelry and things in there but now we get the fun of unloading right Teddy see it's gonna be real fun mom so much fun okay round one <laughs> of a lot I got two big lots of John Deere pens I did pay up for these but I'm gonna piece them out some vintage tie tacks I don't know why it says loose stones. That's not right. But she showed me them because they were having a lot of issues. So we looked at that. A Buzz Lightyear. This is a flick toy. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm just, I always get the Disney, even when I shouldn't, because it's not that. These aren't really that valuable, but I'm a sucker. We've got some, these are the Donald Duck's little nephews. I don't know. Disney, Disney, this is a lid. This is a game that's missing its pieces. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, some Disney baby lights. That Mickey, back scratcher. These are like little coasters. Just, you know, random. Um, then a Main Street. It's, of course, missing something. But again, I'm a sucker for this type of stuff. And then a lot of circus programs. There were two lots. I got outbid on the other one. This one's a record, um, but these, the, my best sale ever was um, old, old circus programs. Um, so I was excited to see them, but somebody else wanted them too. So we've got Ringling Brothers, more modern ones, some older ones, that's a newer, that's a good vintage one. And then there's a calendar, an Emmett Kelly calendar. I don't think that's worth anything. But again, these were all lots. So I got to go get a tub. Well, I got to start washing things and then put them in a tub and get more out. All right, another load. So I got lots of jewelry. I got some thimbles. I love getting things like this, this new old stock. There's a whole box of these things and I can just piece them out. These, um, they're Vogue records some sewing, and then this was all like old medical stuff. Next round, I got lots of Garfield and Disney salt and pepper shakers. There's those tie tack things. This is so fun there. It's a vintage ring sizer set. I'll probably, I don't know if I can separate those and sell them separately. Disney records and just some of the jewelry that's also tangled up with some other random stuff. So I'll kind of have to separate that out. And then all of this jewelry, which I know nothing about. I've never sold jewelry really before, but I know it's a niche I need to learn because I need things that are smaller. Um, so this will be a good 
project for me to tackle and also to sort out because things are tangled because I personally dumped them into the bag because there were too many boxes. So <laughs> lots of work ahead. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. So time for dinner. Here is my porcupine, Swedish porcupine meatballs uh, that I made the other day in their pan. Obviously we have way more rice than meatball. That's how I like it. I didn't eat any yesterday, so I wasn't feeling well. I have it tonight and this is just how I stretch it, but I need more sauce. You don't want to mix the sauce up with the rice. The rice will soak it up. So will the meat, which has rice in it. Anyway, so I'm making more sauce and basically trying to figure the math out. So I've got two cups of cream and mushroom soup, which I strained to get the mushroom chunks out. Again, I don't mind the mushroom flavor. I don't like the little nasty mushroom chunks. It's a texture thing. So two cups of the soup, one cup of sour cream, some water and paprika. And then I will just heat that up and then we will make a glorious dinner of leftovers, which I think I said this in the last time I showed you guys this, is pretty pretty sure this is my favorite meal, honestly. I kind of don't get tired of it. I could make it, eat off it for days, and then make it again. So a couple more packages just to read, and I think this is it for Christmas now. I think I've got everything. So this is for my niece, Sophie, who is four. Uh, her mom said she wanted the Anna costume. So I got this at Disney Store or Shop Disney on Cyber Monday. They Rakuten was doing like, 10% cash back. Of course, there was a sale, but I also had credit card points. I have a Disney Visa card, so I earn points and I can shop. I used to use the points at the parks, but haven't been there. So anyway, I got all of this with points. So I got her the um, dress. She wanted the hair, the boots, and the jewelry. Um, I got her an Anna. It's, I mean, it's like a Barbie. It's not official Barbie, but she likes all the hair, I think. And then I got her the frozen ornament that I showed you earlier. So that is everything for her. And then for my nephew, Owen, the baby, um, again, Shop Disney. I got him this little superhero onesie. I got him this pack of Mickey onesies. And then these three toys, Disney baby. So that covers him now as well. And I do have Sawyer's presents, but I haven't shown you Sawyer's because Sawyer sometimes watches the videos. So Sawyer, if you're watching, Aunt Anne has presents for you, but I'm not gonna show them because you might see them and I want you to be surprised. So I have a couple of eBay orders. First is this Pioneer Woman Birdhouse. This sold for $26 and change. Uh, shipping's costing me a little under nine. I am using a priority mailbox, so I just, paid like 50 cents more to get that because I just want to use the box. Anyway, so we'll get this packed up. And then this, I put up at auction, a little Disneykins. This is Fauna. She is Sleeping Beauty's uh, fairy godmother, apparently. Anyway, uh, she sold for $33 and change, I think, at auction. Of course, quote unquote, free shipping. This is very light. It'll go under four ounces. 